Hey everybody, this is John Q with Comic Wow TV. Here today we have a special, special guest. We have Eric Powell. He's the creator of The Goon. Eric, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you guys doing? Doing very well. Um, you're the creator of The Goon. First, I would like to know, where, where did this come from out of your head? The Goon, where did he come from? Uh, I, I don't know myself. I think it just came out of wanting to do a comic with all of the stuff I like to draw, you know, which is big, ugly people and monsters. So <laughs> it's me being lazy and, yeah. So, so let me ask you, what's going on with the goon right now? What, 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 what do you have in store for the goon? Uh, if you could let us know and, and entice us into uh, into your head, basically. Uh, well, right now we just took the book monthly again with the last two issues, and uh, I'm actually gearing up for a pretty big storyline where um, lots of bad things are going to happen. It's going to be pretty dark. If if you thought Chinatown or the Return of Brazia was dark. You can just strap in, because it's going to get a whole lot worse. That sounds absolutely spectacular. Um, how, how can how can all of us find you? Uh, well, you can go to my website, thegoon.com, and I have Twitter links and Facebook and all that stuff on there. Uh, that leads me right into my next question, social media. How has that helped you, and how has that helped the goon? Uh, to be honest, I don't know if I'd be sitting here right now without Internet buzz and social media. Uh because when I started self-publishing this and trying to get it out there, uh, definitely something that got it over the hump was just Internet buzz, people talking about it online. And um, I self-published another book, Chimichanga, a couple years ago and did nothing, no advertising except social media. And and it sold really well. So, yeah. All right. Um, let me ask uh, before I get to my very last question, which is going to be about our Baltimore Comic Con here. I wanted to see what's uh, you got anything in story, uh, uh, anything on your side projects, anything coming up like that? Well, right now, like I said, we're taking the Goon monthly, so it's it's all Goon all the time right now. I'm <laughs> trying to get the done. All, all but I I did just wrap up uh, the third uh, series of Billy the Kid's Old Time Oddities, and the first issue of that comes out in October. All right, great, and. Um, it's two part question. One, have you ever been to a Baltimore Comic Con? And two, how are you liking Baltimore Comic Con? I think this is my fourth or fifth Baltimore. I always love Baltimore. It's it's, it's a great comic convention because it focuses on the comics. It's one of those like Baltimore and Heroes Con are those two conventions that you know you can go to and it's always, you know, about the comics, you know. That's great. And uh, I'd like to once uh, once again say thank you very much for giving us a few minutes uh, to talk to you and the goon, of course. This is John Q with Comic Wow TV.